Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man who scored a victory at UFC on ESPN2. Alex Perez got the decision win over Mark De La Rosa. Alex, congratulations on the victory. Uh, I was watching another interview you did, and you talked about how you know, you're your biggest critic. So you're, you're looking at what you weren't able to do in the fight that just didn't please you. But what do you think you did the best in the fight? Um, I think I controlled him pretty good. You know, he's a jiu-jitsu black belt, and uh, he's tough, man. He, he attacks off his back, and I was able to shut down his game. So I think that's the biggest thing I took away from uh, the win, that I was able to control him, uh, ground him, and uh, control, control his uh, offense off his back. I mean, I was. I mean, how many times are you going back and watch the fight at this point? Uh, I I watched it like a few times. Uh, you know, because like I said, I like to see what I did, didn't do. Uh, like I said, I'm my biggest critic, man. It doesn't matter what anybody says about me. It's I'm usually pretty hard on myself, so I watch it a few times to kind of figure out what I need to work on. And there's always room to improve. What did your coaches say to you? Was there some? Was, was there a certain statement they had to you about? Okay, here's what we like. Here's what we didn't like. Uh, no, nah, they, uh, you know, they were pretty comfortable with it, wherever the fight was going, uh, either on our feet or on the ground. It didn't matter. Um, uh, I, uh, you know, they know how hard I train and know how much time I put into everything I do. So it was kind of one of those things. Like, all right, we're doing good on the ground. So if you want, take them down. If not, stand and bang with them. It's up to you. Anything surprise you about how Mark fought you? Uh, yeah, I was, I, I expected him to be a little bit more aggressive, uh, you know, and I, cause that's how he fights. He, he comes forward and I was expecting him to try to take me down a little bit more. I mean, his corner was yelling it. I'm not sure, you know, well, if he, something was wrong or he just couldn't get the timing down, but uh, that, that surprised me. He, he's usually known from coming forward and um, he, he, you know, it was a little bit, it was a little bit of a shock that he wasn't coming at forward. Uh, of course, uh, we, we know about you as a 125 pound fighter. Of course, this went at, at 135. Um, did you did you feel different on fight night? W- was there anything that maybe surprised you about fighting 10 pounds heavier? Uh, no, nah, I fought at 35s plenty of times before. Uh, you know, I was, during the local scene, it was hard to fight in 25ers, so I bumped up to 35s for a couple fights. Uh, didn't feel anything different. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit of adjustment just because strength and conditioning wise and stuff like that. You know, I got to eat a little bit more during the wake up. Wake up was a lot easier, um, but nothing really crazy. Nothing really surprised me. Uh, I got to ask you, I know you mentioned about uh, you were getting your wrist checked out. So uh, are, are, is there going to be a little extra time needed or are you good to go for your next fight? Uh, as of right now, uh, the x-ray show that there's nothing, no fracture or anything. So we're going to get an MRI and then make sure there's no ligament. It might be just, I might have strained it or something, you know, with one of the hammer fists. Um, but other than that, I mean, it feels decent. I mean, it hurts a little bit, but it's part of the game. It's just one of those things you can sit there and say, hey, you know, I'll rest this wrist up a little bit, but uh, I-, I can work on a lot of other things in my game. Oh, for sure. I mean, I can still work on footwork, defense. Uh, you know, I might not be able to use my left hand, but I can still lift. I can still do certain things uh, to get better. It's not like, oh, my wrist hurt. I'm going to be out for X amount of weeks. If, if say, you know, knock on wood, say if it's a major injury, I, I'm still going to be working. And, of course, uh, the fight being in Philadelphia, you, you got to uh, knock off a couple of bucket list items. You went to the Rocky statue, had a cheesesteak. Uh, so when you went to the Rocky statue, did did you do the run up the stairs? Oh, no. Nah. I was like, if, it was, if the statue was on top of the stairs, I would have ran up there. But it was on the side, so I was like, "Hey, I'm not gonna run." <laughs> I seen some people doing that. I was like, eh, "Nah, I don't want. I don't want to be that person running or trip or something." So I just kind of just took a picture of this of the stairs and I took a picture next to Rocky statue. Yeah, that would be good. Like you injure yourself and you got to call the USC up, say, "Hey, uh, I was trying to do something cool and I'm out of the fight." I mean, oh yeah, you know, I was just like, uh, some other time." Any other big takeaways of, of being in Philadelphia for a week uh, of just something that, that happened? Uh, no, nah, it's a different way of living. Uh, I'm from uh, – pe- people think I'm from Orange County. I'm, I'm originally from uh, up north in California, I'm central California, uh, a small town called Lemoore. So, uh, I mean, when I go to big cities, it's kind of like, oh, man, this is a lot different, you know. Are, are you, are, do you prefer the small city setup? Oh, for sure. Uh, I'm a, 
I'm a country guy, man. I listen to country music. I, you know, don't don't really listen to too much else. It, it, you know, I don't I don't know how many people would sit there and think you'd be a country music um, person. Uh, is that maybe one of the biggest surprises people have about you? Is is that uh, you like country music? Yeah, the, uh, they definitely like. What, what you're from a you're from a country town? I was like, yeah, man. Like when I growing up, we had dairies and stuff in my town. Uh, you know, people where I'm from like wear cowboy boots and stuff like that to school. So that's the way I grew up. Do any of your, any of your teammates kind of uh, joke with you about that? Oh, nah, they, they kind of, uh, they kind of listen to country music too. They're, my team's all over the place, man. We listen to Spanish, we listen to hip hop, rap, we listen to, you know, country. We're all over the place. Like, is there, is there music uh, on your phone that people would be surprised to, to know that that's on your phone? Oh yeah, country music for sure. People are getting surprised all the time when I listen to stuff like that. They're just like, "What the heck?" Uh, I was like, "Yeah," but I grew up listening to it, you know. Now, have you turned some of your teammates into country music fans? Uh, not some of them already are. Some of them, like we have a couple guys that listen to country music. One of them, like Cheeto, actually listens to country music, and people get surprised about that. <laughs> Yeah, I would not think Cheeto and country music. That, that would definitely not come up there. Uh, but, yeah. uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what your next fight is. I mean, um, obviously, if, if the wrist is all good to go, um, how soon would you like to get back in there? Um, for me, I would like to get back in there June and then fight again. I, I, I want to get three fights this year. Last year I got four, you know, about five with the contenders, but I want, I want at least – two more fights in the UFC and then go from there. It does, any preference of it, whether it's 25 or 35? Um, nah, like 25 for me, I feel like people are like, Oh, it's a hard weight cut, blah, blah. blah. I'm like, yeah, it is. But every weight cut's going to be hard. 25s, 35s, you know, everybody cuts weight. Um, I feel an easier way for me for the title is at 25s just because there's less guys. Uh, 35s. I mean, you got the division stacked from top to bottom. Top 15 guys are good. Not saying that flyweights aren't are, aren't good, but I was already ranked, you know, top ten, top fifteen at at flyweight. So um, to me, it doesn't matter. Uh, like I tell people, it's a different weight class, same goal, the same weight class, same goal. My goal hasn't changed from day one. And of course, we look forward to seeing when the next fight does take place. Alex, as always, appreciate your time. Uh, let me know they can follow you out on social media, and of course, those uh, sponsors that have been helping you out. Uh, you guys can find me on social media, Alex. Friends MMA, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I uh, just want to say thank you to all my friends, family, uh, my sponsors, Miss Mary Jane CBD, uh, ATTC, uh, Milk and Eggs, Always Ready Meals, uh, CNEX, uh, my management team. Uh, you know, without you guys, I would not be here. Uh, hard road, you know, uh, especially after I lost, you know, people gave up on me. But uh, just say thank you guys for all the support. I, re- I really appreciate it.